API gateway and uh, microservices. Hello friends, uh, this is Chandra Shwaryani and uh, today I'm going to explain you about the API gateway. So before I uh, jump to the API gateway, it is important uh, to understand the microservices. What are the microservices? What, what's the concept of uh, microservices architecture? Why they came into the picture? So uh, once we are clear with that, then we'll jump to the API gateway part. So what I am going to do in today's tutorial uh, first of all, I'll create uh, two microservices and then uh, I'll place some sort of authentication uh, using JWT maybe and then uh, we'll create the API gateway and after that at last I'll move that uh, authentication part from each microservice to the API gateway that is our whole sole purpose. So uh, code is available to get up. Yes. So let me now uh, quickly yeah, move to the microservice architecture. So let's first of all understand what 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 is this. Uh, again, I won't go in in the theoretical lines, and I'll be sharing with my uh, practical experience uh, what I have learned in last uh, one year. So I have been part of the one of the project in what we are following this architecture. So microservice architecture is basically. Uh, entirely different from the monolithic approach which we have been doing in past uh, so many years right so in monolithic application what uh, what happens that you uh, deploy or you do all sort of code in one solution and then actually deploy it to the server right so the problems uh, comes into the picture one is that if uh, in any of the module in any of the sub module let's say any bugs comes so although uh the the time of fixing that bug is just uh five minutes or ten minutes but you have to invest the entire time in deploying the entire solution right because you are not deploying individual sub module you're deploying the entire solution so uh, when you run a build command when you uh, when you run the test cases when you actually publish the website in ERP type of solution in a in a huge uh, application that takes a huge amount of time in 20 minutes 25 minutes and the application is like hang right so that is the one problem second is that uh, as I said that the bugs uh, bug is bug came into just a small module uh, let's say a uh, smallest one in any of the area but due to this the entire application is down right so your users cannot use even the other part of the services or the modules which are still working fine so that was the problem with the monolithic approach and, and this is the uh, major uh, thing that why we are moved to the microservice architecture so microservice architecture says that try to uh, segregate your application as much as you can do let's take an example of e-course commerce application so you uh, check out your uh, orders page into the different service you can uh, take out your uh, user space into the different services right so individual team is working in individual the microservices and it has the own database and most of the cases it has the own ui so once you are done with all the all, all sort of code in different different microservices you just go to the server deploy the each microservice now see the those problems once again if the problems comes in, in any microservices, let's say user microservices or uh, orders microservices, then the rest of the services would work fine, right? And as I talk about the time, so either now you run a test cases or do a build or do anything, it will not take much time because you have now smallest unit in your uh, microservices, right? So uh, with this approach, we came up with uh, different sort of uh, problems i won't say the problems the challenges so one of them that how these microservices are gonna communicate right product needs the user data user needs the order data so how uh, this gonna this gonna be uh, passed uh, between those microservices so is the concept of uh, service bus so using the service bus you can e easily uh, achieve achieve that th that thing uh, using the topic in the queue but again this is not our uh, part to cover in today's uh, tutorial we'll focus on the api gateway so the videos are already i have uh, created and shared on the youtube you can have a look through those videos okay so uh here's the architecture in what uh, as of now i'm showing the one ui application for each microservices now let's say this ui application wants to interact with the different services let's say uh, you have a home page in what you want dashboard you want to show the product page you, you want to show the user's data club into the grid format right so 
how uh, you can you can uh, actually retrieve the data so one solution is that you make an api call to the different microservices right and calls to different services so this uh, this is the one way which uh, why uh, you can achieve here's an example grid i was talking about so let's say you want to show a user information product information the order the trading etc since you have uh, individually deployed the microservices you cannot directly get the data from one service right so you have to make a call to the different service but if you do so that is entirely entirely wrong approach we have learned a lot uh, earlier that we never make uh, too many network calls it, it it's a huge impact to the network right so what is the other solution as a solution api gateway so what you do you create your different microservices deploy uh, those microservices no problem but at last you put a api gateway as a as an open window for the ui application so when ui is uh, uh, sending the request it it does not have to know about where it is sending the request it is sending the user to the product anyone it is just sent to the api gateway so the api gateway url is exposed publicly whereas the rest of the microservices are internally hosted so your application just know through api gateway and api gateway internally uh do some sort of sortings and all, all those stuff we'll see how it uh, how it actually does and interact with the uh, services and gets the data club the data accordingly and send back to the ui application so this is how uh, basically this architecture works in the api gateway so you can see that data can be received from multiple uh, microservices there is no hassle for the ui developer to know where uh, do i uh, put a breakpoint or where do i hit actually to in end service and yes Another benefit that any sort of generic uh, logic like authentication and all those stuff can be at, at one place. So yeah, that, that's all about the brief about those things. Now we'll see uh, in the Visual Studio 2017, I'll be using this and uh, we'll create a couple of the microservice and API gateway and see how it works. So I'll, I'll continue this uh, in, in the next part. Thank you for being here. Thank you.